Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I have only a few words to say, and these are words of gratitude. Firstly, to my fellow candidates, to Cosmos, to William, I'd like to, to express my respect to each of you and to your countries, both for the professional work that you have done for the ITU and for development and for the dignity with which you have campaigned. I also want to pay my respect to the leadership of Brahim Asanu. You have led this bureau through important years. I'd like to thank, in particular, Ambassador Strayer, FCC Chairman Pai, and Assistant Secretary David Reddell, and of course, their teams, and the entire U.S. administration for putting me forward as their candidate and for their leadership and incredible support throughout my campaign. I would also, Mr. Chairman, like to express my sincere thanks to the private sector of the United States, which has also been extremely helpful and supportive throughout this process. It really was a team effort. I'd also like to thank my many friends and colleagues from around the world that gave me support throughout this process. I'd like to thank my husband, who arrived last night. He was really my rock throughout. I would like to thank my children, Cecilia and my triplets, Anna, Santiago, and Alejandro, who have been so encouraging and extremely patient throughout this, this process. They really understood that my pursuit is to make a positive difference and to make lives better. That brings me to you, the member states of this great union, I would like to thank you for putting your trust in me to lead the ITU's development work over the next four years. It is a great honor for me and for my country. I have worked for this moment for so many years as my ideas about ICT and development and specifically for the BDT have grown. I pledge to do my utmost to support you in further advancing your digital economies. Having been a staff member of the ITU for almost 25 years, I would like to give a shout out to my team in SPM. You guys are amazing. And of course, to the BDT team and to all ITU colleagues, it's really been a privilege for me to be part of the ITU staff and I really look forward to continuing to collaborate with you all further in the future. I'd also like to say a few words to my colleagues, specifically in BDT. I worked among you for many years before I moved to the General Secretariat. I believe in our mission and I believe in each of you individually to your commitment and your creativity. Together, we can step up and make the BDT even more effective for our members. Secretary General Zhao, Deputy Secretary General Johnson, Director Lee, I would like to sincerely congratulate you on your brilliant re-elections. And I would also like to extend my, my thanks to Director Ronsi and Director Sanu uh, for your years of cooperation and, and friendship. I am eternally grateful. I am very excited to be part of the ITU leadership team and to stand among you. It's a great honor. Uh, the only thing maybe I regret today is that my father couldn't be here. Uh, but before he passed away, I did have the opportunity to tell him that the United States was supporting me for this position. And he would have been very proud, and I'm sure he's looking down on all of us now.
Ladies and gentlemen, today we did make history. We broke the glass ceiling, and I'm so very grateful to you for all of your support, and I look forward to working with you all. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.